Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you'll be joining us today in our Kids Church Online. So before I go on to my lesson, I have a really, really exciting announcement. So starting tomorrow, we are um, opening the Kids Church ministry for you guys. So um, we'll be happy to see you in person. Um, but for more information regarding about that one, on um, how you can join the Kids Church um, in person, I advise you to tell your mom and dad to look in our church um, website and they can read there all the information uh, and how can you guys be signed in and uh, so we can meet you and we can have lots of fun learning about God and, you know, meeting our friends. You know, it's been a long time since we have seen each other. Um, so today um, we're going to have a new lesson and um, I just want to ask you, how many of you love to watch movie? I love to watch movie. So when I actually always have that, you know, a family time, you know, like a movie night. And you know how the movie has the beginning and how the movie has an ending, of course, you know. And sometimes, you know, the ending is, doesn't satisfy you. It's like, oh, oh, that happened in the ending? Um, I really want to, you know, want to know what's going to happen next. I want to know more about it. You know, and sometimes that's why in a movie, there is what we call a sequel. So, um, so it ends and then there's going to be another um, story after that. So, you know, the Bible is one big book made up of two parts. And those parts are the Old Testament and the New Testament. So in the Old Testament, it actually tells the story of how, you know, God made a world. You know, how God created the world and man. And also in the Old, uh, Old Testament, we can, you know, read there um, about those people that fell into sin and were separated from God. And it tells also how God loved his people so much that even though they disobeyed so many times, he refused to, get, to give up on them. So God, because he loves us so much, he made a plan to save the people. And in the Old Testament, he, you can read there, he made a promise that he would send a special gift. The Old Testament ends with a promise made, but not yet fulfilled. So when you go into the New Testament, it begins with God fulfilling his promise. So if you have your Bible, I want you to get your Bible and turn it into the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. And to help me um, reading that verse, I'm going to call Zoe and he's going to read the verse for us. Okay? Hi New Love Kids Church. My name is Zoe May and I'm so excited to see you today. And I'm going to and today I'm going to read you about Isaiah 9, 6. So you can get your Bible and put that to the page. Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulder. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace bye you love kids church i hope i see you again and i'll see you on sunday for tomorrow bye welcome back boys and girls and good job zoe may for reading us the bible verse for today and also good job for all of you boys and girls who get your bible and read along with zoe so in the book of Isaiah, God promised that he would send us a special gift. And that special gift is actually, can anybody guess 
Who is that special gift? You are correct. It is actually Jesus. Jesus is the special gift that God the Father has promised from the Old Testament. And Jesus is the one people have been waiting for. He is the gift that Isaiah and so many others had prophesied that who would come. But actually, Jesus was not the Messiah that the people expected. They were actually looking for somebody that who would come as a warrior or somebody that would look like a king and who would take the throne of their ancestor, David. But God had actually a different plan. You know, when God made a plan, it's totally different from what people are planning or thinking. So God had other plan on how he would send Jesus here on earth. And that is going to be our next lesson for the following weeks this month. So the New Testament is actually the story about how God the Father fulfilled what he had promised from the Old Testament. And it's going to be the story of Jesus. So I'm excited, you know, to tell you more about it next week. But all I can say is that Jesus is God. And he is a promised gift that God the Father had promised us that he would send here on earth. And you know what? We can trust Jesus because Jesus is the Son of God. So boys and girls, I hope you learned something today. And I hope to see you. If somebody or some of you are deciding or planning to come and join us for tomorrow or for today, actually happening today in Kids Church in person, um, welcome, welcome back. Um, but for now, I want to say goodbye and hope to see you again next week. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye.